So I want to give another quick update on the debugger. Uh, this is the debugger now. I added a timeline window. Okay. But which is what we saw last time. But we last time we just printed it out into the terminal and I saved it to a file. Oh. Uh, this time it's in a window. So we have this timeline um, and you can, you can have it side by side with the code panel uh -huh. so that, um, so that when you're stepping through the code, let me try to have them side by side. Uh, it advances in both windows. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. So that is, yeah, that is, uh, you can see over here in the timeline, it advances at the same time. Um, 22,000 lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So, so here, for example, so, uh, it, it's still a bit of a problem that there is just so much timeline that you can't really see the structure that you're inside of. Uh -huh. um, so um, I think that like, but currently you can sort of infer some of the things as you are jumping around in the code. Mm -hmm. Like here, for example, we're calling this text constructor, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see there's three lines that go on inside the text constructor if you look at the timeline. Right, mm -hmm. it's it's nested under the text constructor, and then if if I say step over, then it'll skip over those lines, right? And then you so can it's see basically you information like you don't have to step into whatever stuff, uh, but it will just give you information automatically. Uh, yeah, it, it's all flattened basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. On the timeline, everything has been expanded. Um, uh -huh. and we, we don't have to choose that design, but uh, d with this version, that's what I chose. Everything is expanded. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, like the reason I call it timeline is basically it's, it's, ha it's got one line for every single line of code that was executed. Mm -hmm. And that's why everything is expanded. So yeah. if, I drill, if I drill in, then you get, into the nested tree mm -hmm. um, and then you step back out you're back out here so i think i think at the moment um it is still a little bit hard because because one thing i cannot do now is to shrink the font size really really small uh, i can't well not that i can't but i i can't do that just for one of the windows. Let's, uh, okay. let's put it that way. Uh -huh. I, I could I can kind of I can kind of make things small, but everything's gonna be small. Uh huh. Uh, which which might be okay, but um, maybe I do that. Uh so yeah, we'll we'll see. So this is this is and and this is the run loop. This is the event loop of the ui framework so you get you get to go in there oh this is a system that standard in that reconfigure that's a library function okay but, but we can look inside it as well nice <laughs> uh, so, so like this is like a standard python library and that's the internals of it if i, I want to step over it boom we're we're over it but nice. if we want to go into it you can also look into the internals of this library. It has a search function. I don't know why it would have a search function, but okay. Um, if I if I wanted to know, then I can, you know, look more into it. Um, but anyway, so th that's that's mainly what I did last week.